probably went to like Harbor Freight or whatever and bought one of these cheap on sale $25, $30 trimmers. This is a 13 inch string trimmer from Harbor Freight. Uh, you, you know, you run through your first spool of wire and uh, generally after that, uh, you know, something either breaks on it, can't find the right wire. Uh, you go on the internet, you try to find uh, what size wire to buy, you know, and uh, good luck with that. You know, you go to your home box stores, you know, and you'll pick up packs of wire, you know, three packs of, you know, you'll try to find your craftsman or whatever else to try to make it fit. And none of it ever seems to work right. You know, a lot of times, it's just frustrating. You, you, you spend, you know, you find a good deal on a trimmer and you expect to be able to just wind your string like the good old trimmers, you know, back when you were younger or that your dad had. Well, these things are, are just made to cost you lots of money. Well, a friend of mine has a yard business and uh, he showed me this trick and it, it blew my mind. It, it's just so simple and stupid. Here's what you do. This works on every trimmer, by the way. Any trimmer. It doesn't matter what it is. It's so simple. It's, it's stupid. Like I said, I paid 24 bucks for this thing, right? What you do is, is, is you take the cap off. And this is normally where you'd find your little, you know, your little wire spool that you would buy and rewrap the wire in and everything. Anyway, and I went down to my Ace Hardware. Here, I'll show you. And I bought this, this uh, 0.155 industrial grade wire. It's giant wire. It's uh, real strong. It's got six-sided. So it cuts better, super thick. You know, it's it's. I think this thing uses like 0.45 or whatever it's supposed to comes with, but it just barely fits through the hole in the side here. Anyway, what you do? You take your length of wire. Take your length of wire. Figure out how much you need. Like that. 13 inches. So need about that much. And you just stuff the stick. So anyway, I just got a hose cutter I just use here. This is all there is to it. Just tie you a knot. It's so stupid simple. Literally takes one minute to change your wire out. Tie your knot on your wire. And pull it tight. And anyway, your cap goes right over the top. Like this. And your cap has a little center thing that goes over. It keeps this this knot from coming back off and as your trimmer spins this knot will tighten up it won't come off it'll actually tighten up and then of course you have your little your little metal blade there that'll cut this off to, so that's literally that's all there is to it and that's it it's locked in and that's all you have to do and you get this big old thing nine bucks for 109 foot and you use a foot of it at a time, well 13 inches at a time. Just tie a knot, slip it over, pop it in. That's all you have to do. Works on any weed eater, period. You don't have to mess with rewinding stuff, you know, trying to find the right filament size, all that stuff.